to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this makeup look right here. So for the eyeshadow specifically, I'm not using any new eyeshadow palettes, but for the complexion portion of today's video, I'm using a ton of new stuff. So I'm finally using the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder Puff. She's cute. She's pink. And she's affordable, so that's exciting. I tried out the new Mora Stay Golden Cream Bronzer. I also am wearing one of the brand new Juvia's Place blushes. I tried a new concealer and new foundation that's been going viral on TikTok. So today's video is super, super exciting. It's a jam-packed video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. And not to mention, this look is definitely really different. The color combo, obviously, is something that you don't see all the time, but I am obsessed. I'm going to keep the intro super short and sweet. So before we jump in to today's video, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you guys enjoy makeup tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you would like to see how to create this makeup look right here and get into all the new goodies I recently got, then just keep on watching. Guys, right, so let's go ahead and get into this look. So I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 2.5. It's my perfect shade, and this is the jumbo one, in case it looks different from the one that you have. So I'm going into the Carnival Love Tahiti palette, and I'm going into the shade Forest, which is the deepest green. Now, there's a lot of shades in this look, so just bear with me and try to just go along, go with the flow. So now I'm going to go into the shade Mood, but this one is from the Carnival XL Pro. So I'm using the Carnival XL Pro from Be Perfect as well as the Love Tahiti palette. I'm placing that blue right after the green. Then I'm going to go into the shade Reckless. This is also the Carnival XL Pro palette and that's going to be the third shade that we're going to put on the outer corner. Now I know it looks nothing like the other eye yet but that is because we're going to be building some color. So now I'm going to go in with the shade The Hype and I'm going to use that to blend out that forest shade which is the darkest green that we used. And then over top of that I'm going to go in with Key Lime which is an even lighter green just to make sure you have that really beautiful blend. Now, as far as the blue, I'm actually going to go over top with Blackberry, which is a beautiful purple. I kind of realized I just kind of wanted like a bluish, purplish moment right there, kind of sandwiched in between that reddish orange and the green. And then I'm going to go into that deep red from the Love Tahiti palette, and that's what's going to go on my outer corner. Now, like I said, this is going to look a little bit weird at first, but once I'm pretty happy with where the colors are, we're going to build the depth. So the darkest black I've ever used is Lights Out from the Carnival XL Pro Palette and this is what's going to give your look the depth that it needs and once you place down your black you're going to see how the black eyeshadow is really going to transform all of those lighter colors that we put on first and it just becomes magic. So once I placed down the black in the crease you can obviously see that it really did dull down each eyeshadow so what I'm going to do is go back in with all the colors and just re-intensify them, replace them, re-blend them until I'm pretty happy with the blend and until I feel like I can see a really nice difference between each color each color has its moment as well as the depth from the black eyeshadow here's also where I'm going ahead and just dragging out that eyeshadow with the orange shade from the Carnival XL Pro and now since I'm happy with my blend I'm gonna go in and of course start to cut the crease now I like the q-tip and micellar water um, method but you can do whatever you like some people use Vaseline some people use cut carver from P Louise whatever you prefer to be honest with you I feel like they all do the same thing so now for the shade on the lid I did create my my own color I needed this specific yellow okay so I went into the blend bunny cosmetics palette and I used the shade secrets which is a super pale almost pastel yellow and then I went over top of that with the yellow from the carnival XL pro palette which is a deeper yellow if you have the palette you know exactly what I'm talking about and the two of them together was such a match made in heaven it made this super unique yellow so unfortunately that yellow you have to mix it to get it honestly I'm just sitting here and like can we get a Blend Bunny Cosmetics X Tatanisha palette? I feel like with her formula and my thought process of pigments and shades, that palette would be epic. So let's manifest it together because that would be such a dream come true. But in the meantime, that's how I got that yellow. On the outer corner, I just brought in whatever was on the outer portion of the crease and brought it onto the lid just a little bit. And then this black eyeliner is the Mayron face paint. It's super black, super pigmented, and dries down matte. It's amazing. But I like to get my inner corner to be super thin so I'm going in with the Kylie liquid liner such an underrated liner it is so good very pigmented very black and does not dry out it's phenomenal and then I just went in and curled my lashes of course and then what I am gonna do is take a small detailed brush
brush and I'm just gonna add some more black eyeshadow on the outer edge of that liner it's just gonna help diffuse it so I don't have that harsh line where that liner is gonna stop since obviously I'm not doing a winged liner for this look so this is what it should look like for lashes I'm going in with Popsy lashes in the style princess these have been my go-to they're so beautiful they're fluffy yet you're still able to see the beautiful eyeshadow that I have on my lids it's stunning I love these I do have a discount code it'll be linked down below so let's jump into the face makeup so shout out to my girl Leslie for putting me on to this primer this primer is actually really nice it's actually hydrating but I feel like it has like a tacky texture which I'll show you guys in a minute so it really did adhere to my foundation as far as foundation I'm going in with the Sephora best skin ever foundation I did get two shades I had to mix them one was a little too light one was a little bit too warm you guys know my spiel when it comes to foundation I can never get the perfect one shade. So I went ahead and applied it to the skin. It's gorgeous. Such an amazing, affordable foundation. For cream bronzer, I decided to try out this new Moira Cream Bronzer. At first, I used the shade Medium, which is this one right here. It was a little bit too warm. You guys can definitely see that orange undertone. So I ended up going in with the shade Medium Tan, which is this one right here. The two mixed together was perfect. I wish that they had a shade in between the two because I feel like I still need something a little bit more more neutral but also a little warm it was a little confusing for concealer I'm going in with the Sephora best skin ever concealer I have two colors I'm using again same situation where one was a little deep one was a little too light so I mixed the two the colors will be linked down below so just check there in the description box if you want to know exact shades but this concealer is amazing you guys like can we just talk about the fact that you can get the price of Sephora collection with this quality and I feel like the drugstore is pushing the prices of Sephora collection isn't that insane I feel like the drugstore is getting so expensive that you might as well just go to Sephora and pick up this concealer instead it's amazing such great quality and I was really shook at the coverage because I feel like when you think of like Sephora collection or you think of like Ulta Beauty's brand you're just like eh, it's just like the company's brand like it's not a big deal but I'm telling you this concealer and foundation from Sephora collection is phenomenal so moving on to the elf powder puff I decided to give this a shot in today's video you guys I've already used this a few times I'm I'm going in with the new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Powder, which is the one that is talc free. I'm not a fan of either of these products. I don't know what it is. First of all, you see all that kick up, all that powder went in my hair, okay? I didn't even realize that I had so much powder in my hair at this point from all that powder, but the powder puff itself just wasn't for me. I feel like it's a little bit cheap, to be honest with you. You can definitely tell that it's a $4 powder puff. I didn't love it. And then I didn't feel like the powder was revolutionary, to be honest with you. I think I like the original more than this one, but I'm gonna give it another shot and we shall see, just being honest with you guys. To set the rest of my face, I'm going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder in Medium 11. And then of course, you guys know, I'm obsessed with the Fenty Beauty Bronzing Palettes. I cannot put this down. This was definitely my most used product from the last Sephora sale. You guys, this thing is bomb. If you haven't gotten it, get your hands on it while you can because it is so good. I literally just take my brush and mix all the shades together and apply to the skin and it's the perfect shade. For cream blush, I'm going in with the Danessa Myricks Lip and Cheek Palette. I think this one's called do it flirty. I don't know why I don't see nobody talking about this. This palette is so underrated. I've used it so many times. It's beautiful and I'm using it over a set face. It's phenomenal. If you haven't tried it and you've been wanting to try it, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. To go ahead and set that cream, I'm going in with one of the new Juvia's Place Blush Duos. This is the more orange one. It's beautiful and pigmented, okay? Juvia's Place knows what they're doing when it comes to blush. These are stunning, okay? They're so beautiful. If you're a blush lover like me, you need these in your collection. They're so, so good. So I went ahead and applied that to my skin. You guys know I'm a fiend for blush, so I never know when's enough. Like, is it ever enough? I don't think so, but this is the complexion. Let's go ahead and move on to the lower lash line. So I'm basically just dragging whatever is on the outer corner of the eye off to the outer part of the lower lash line. So first that deeper red shade, then I'm gonna diffuse it with the orange color, of course, and then to add that definition and that depth to the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with that black eyeshadow super simple and easy then I'm gonna go into the yellow eyeshadow from the carnival XL Pro just because you guys know I like a really 
blown out, diffused, dramatic eye look, especially when it comes to a look where I'm blowing out that outer corner up towards the temple. I want that lower lash line to be really nice and cohesive so it doesn't get lost in the look. I added a little bit of the yellow into the inner corner and then I'm adding two different liners in the waterline. The first one is the Killer Liner from Too Faced and Killer Cashmere. And then over top of that, I'm going with the Yellow Liner from Tres Luce Beauty. I wanted to mix them because I wanted the yellow liner to have something to stick to and to just give it kind of like a little help, a little push so it could be a little bit more vibrant. And then I went ahead and just added some Bottom Lash Mascara, popped on my Setting Spray, Glow Recipe, Watermelon Glow Mist. There's nothing like it on the market. It gives you the most beautiful airbrush glow glowy skin like finish it's phenomenal and that basically completes today's look if you guys are interested in the lip combo it'll be down below in the description box thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys